and Jim and Beth, it is rather high, of course, as we've been tracking with our river gauges all along the Mississippi and watching this rise as we approach crest in about or day or two. And so preparations have been taken and steps have been made to help protect the city of Marquette as well as other locations. Now I have Mayor Steve Wipert here with me this afternoon. And Steve, well, it's been a long road to get here, right? It's been, it's been days of preparation. Uh, at this point, how does the city stand? city, I think, stands quite well right now. We seem to have everything pretty secure, and we followed our plans, and we're looking pretty good. And really having a plan, because the Mississippi River rises every spring, but not quite like this every year. And so that plan was a pretty big key to staying safe, right? Oh, exactly. We knew at every stage what we had to do, and we'll go ahead and get her done. And that's how life goes on the river. Very, very much so. It's just you take it as it comes sometimes, That's right? right? Yeah. The integration of response from different government agencies and even private organizations. We're standing right next to the Canadian Pacific Rail Line here, and they are right on the river, and they took steps to protect their property, and that actually helped the city too, right? Oh, you bet. Yeah, when they raised their tracks, they put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of funds to increase the dike and keep their trains running. Yeah, and that really helped out the city, and of course it's going to help lessen the impact here, which is great yeah. news. Uh, the slow fall of the river is going to be the biggest challenge going forward, I imagine. Uh, what other challenges do you anticipate in the days and weeks to come? I think the slow fall will be a big thing, that and then the cleanup. It seems like everybody's willing to pitch in to make sure you're safe. Once you're safe and the water goes down, then there's a lot of cleanup. Yeah, very much so, and we'll be following that, too, as it happens. But thank you, Mayor Steve Weipert. You Appreciate your time. Iowans helping Iowans, that's always the one thing that we get from this is a great public response. We've seen it here in Marquette and cities across eastern Iowa. For now, in Marquette, I'm meteorologist Corey Thompson, KCRG-TV.